What's going on guys, it's Tracky here and welcome back to another Texas Rangers Fantasy Draft franchise. Finally got one of these going today. Uh, we're taking on the Rays today, they're 1918, we are 1917, so hopefully this uh, video goes quick because it is hot as hell here. It's like 94 degrees outside and humid. No circulation in my room uh, because I had to turn my fans off to make this video, so you know. Uh, two guys in this lineup, maybe three that we really need to look at, Carlos Gomez, Pedro Alvarez, and Alex Guerrero. Uh, and Gio Gonzalez will be taking those guys on. So, not off to a great start the season. 508 ERA, uh, 39 innings pitched, has struck out 43, but uh, just kind of struggling. Still has not gotten a win yet this season. So, he'll look to do something today. Uh, the first two innings, nothing happens actually. Or actually, I guess the first inning, nothing happens. You can see our lineup there today. Uh, still waiting for Jan Gomes to come back, and everybody's pretty much just cold right now. Uh, I think Diane Vesiedo is the only guy that's really been successful on the mound for them today. Uh, Andre Rienzo, I'm, I don't know. I don't even know if he's a real guy, honestly. He might be, he might not, I don't know. 6'3", 180, 27, making his uh, Major League debut, it looks like. So, top the second inning here, first bit of action. Joe Gonzalez with a beautiful strikeout. Uh, and here we go again, top of the second, 1-0 count. This one goes into right field for a nice little single there. And uh, that single is going to lead to a chain of offense here. So 1-2 count, that's going to be a strikeout. Uh, Kyle Blanks, we're going to, oh, uh, I hate when I do that. We're going to, we'll go ahead and sit down. Here, just a slow roller back up uh, in the center field. Phil Cobb dives, I really don't know why, because knowing my luck, he would have got hurt. And JPR and CB here, opposite field home run. <laughs> so just like that, in the top of the second inning, we are already down three to nothing. And it seems like the long ball has been given up so many times this year. Every time I play, it, feel, it feels like I give up a home run. I don't know if I do or not, but I don't know. It's kind of frustrating. Uh, Gio Gonzalez, a guy I want to come out and you know be successful. Um, spoiler alert, he is gonna, he's gonna calm down a little bit, um, so, I don't know, that, that's just frustrating, but one-two count, uh, he does get a nice little strike out there with the curve, so, the Rays jump up three to nothing in the top of the second, and, um, we need to, we need to get back at him right away, we can't, can't sit here and wait around until the late innings, so top of the third here, Gio Gonzalez comes out here, striking guys out still, not really messing around. Uh, he's given up all the runs he can give up today. Uh, so, two strikeouts there. And uh, now we'll move into bottom of the third. Um, Diane Vicieto up to bat. First pitch he sees, he's going to take it into left field just past the third baseman. So, nice little hit there for Vicieto. I'm not sure what his average is right now, but he's been very, very solid. Um, I, I, I just, for some reason, think the average sticks in my head. So, uh, Marcus Simeon on here now. He's actually in a ground out um, with, like, a swinging bunt there. But he does get on first to uh, avoid the double play. So, Austin Jackson up here with two outs. Simeon takes off. Steals second. He's actually going to be in there. High throw. Might have made it anyway, but a good throw probably gets him. And uh, Austin Jackson looking here to drive him in. And that is what he will do. Hits this one just beautifully into center field and Simeon will come around unfortunately I thought I could make it and I couldn't uh, Austin Jackson just gets tagged out so you know probably would have been good to have Austin Jackson on with guys like Rendon Trout and Cruz coming up although they haven't been that hot it's still something that you want a runner in scoring position so Rendon up here uh, in the next inning top of the fourth takes that one into center and if he would have done that with Austin Jackson on second it would have been three to three right now so or sorry, three to one or three to two. Jeez. Um, instead, though, bottom of the fourth, three to one. Wild pitch, or I, I don't know what that honestly would. It just was a bad pitch, and uh, Rendon was running, gets on second, almost got tagged out. If you guys saw there, uh, and then here Cruz sends this one into center field for a nice little uh, RBI double. So that makes the score three to two, and. Uh, Aus or not, Aus Philip Kaw up here, and uh, he sends this one into center, but um, that'll be caught to retire him. So we pick up another run here, make the game three to two uh, through four. So not out of this one yet, and uh, 
Played a lot of close games this year. So Austin Jackson, bottom of the sixth tier, 1-1 count. Takes this one into left field just like Diane Viciator did earlier. And since Austin Jackson has some wheels, probably going to look to steal here. Uh, would love to get him in the scoring position with the guys that we have coming up. And uh, that's what we're going to do. Send him. He's in there. No problem at all, really. So Rendon looking to get him in at this point. Uh, Rendon was unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. Trout was unsuccessful. I can't talk. And Nelson Cruz unsuccessful. So you know our two, three, four guys that have just that we were that were absolutely amazing last year. Um, just not able to get the guy in to tie the game up. And that's what we need. We need those guys to produce. So Gio Gonzalez, after giving up his three-run home run, actually has settled down and pitched pretty well through seven innings. And uh, here, Philip Kaw takes this one over the shortstop's head, and it rolls all the way to the wall. And uh, he'll be in there with a double. So good piece of hitting there by Philip Kaw. And uh, that'll bring Diane Vicieto up, bottom of the seventh. Takes this one into the hole, and uh, that'll move Philip Kaw up to third. Had it been, in, like, no doubt going in, you know, I think Philip Kaw can score on that maybe. And then uh, Simeon, unfortunately, does ruin all hopes of scoring a run with a double play here. And uh, that, that one hurts. That one really hurts. You got you get your runners on the corners, and uh, you're going into a double play. Kind of sucks, but hey. Uh, so... Top of the eighth, Gio Gonzalez still in. I, I don't know why I had him in. I just forgot to take him out. Gives up a hit here, and it's like, all right, he has to come out. I can't give anything else up. That's a double. So, Gio Gonzalez's day is over, and coming in to replace him will be Sergio Romo. He's the only guy that hadn't pitched in a while, so figured he's, he's probably the, a good guy to bring in here, and uh, he actually did come in and strike a guy out. Took him a while uh, to get to the point he's at here and a runner on third and they decided to suicide squeeze it so I, I I hate when they do that and I actually decided to pick the ball up and if I wouldn't have done it it probably would have gone foul and I would have been fine but we give up another run there on the suicide squeeze and still just trying to get out of this inning and finally does uh, the two outs took uh, it was just a for it just the, that inning went on forever. I don't know. So uh, moving into the bottom of the eighth, it's four to two, and uh, Giovanni Soto here actually gets on base for once. Um, I don't know if that one is an error or a hit. I, I have no idea. But Dyson will come in to pinch run for him, uh, which will bring Danny Flaherty in later to uh, hit if needed or just to catch. So. Uh, Dyson obviously takes off and is in there very, very easy. Even with the bad throw, he would have made it on a good throw probably. So, Rendon here, uh, making a, taking a pretty good at bat, I think. Uh, I didn't see what the count was prior to that terrible pitch. Okay, so 2-2. Two, two. Dyson on third. And this is what we need right here. Just solid base hits up the middle. That scores Dyson with no problem at all. That would have scored freaking David Ortiz. And uh, here Nelson Cruz with the runner on third just can't come through in the clutch to uh, tie the game. So four to three, it just seems like we're just always one run behind these guys. We just can't get up on them or even tie them. So you know that's just I, you know what can I do? So here we go into the uh, top of the eighth. Ryan Vogel song, or maybe it's the top of the ninth. Top of the ninth, I think. Ryan Vogel's song, uh, having a pretty good year this year out of the bullpen. You guys have seen him in probably quite a few of the videos. I like to go to him if we're losing, uh, cause I think, I don't know. I just, I just like using him and unfortunately the first pitch he throws is a home run. Just barely clears the wall, but, um, it was enough to get out. So, you know, what are you going to do? So Vogel's song can't be perfect all the time. Gives up a home run there. And uh, makes it 5-3, to three, top of the ninth, 2 count. Does get himself a strikeout. And uh, that'll put us into the bottom of the ninth here. Diane Vicieto up to hit. 3-1 count, sees a pitch he likes, but uh, hits her directly back to the third baseman, and that will end the game. The Rays win 5-3. to three. So Rangers take a tough loss here. Um, but... Still plenty of games left to play. Only around 45 games played, I believe, at this point. 
can't remember, you know, no more than 45 if anything, so we still have a bunch of games. There's no reason that, you know, it's baseball. One game isn't going to kill you as long as you don't make it one game every day. So, you know, these these losses kind of hurt, though. Um, losing close games kind of sucks. But at the same time, getting blown out sucks. So, you know, you kind of pick your poison. But uh, overall, I thought it was a decent day. We just need to eliminate the home run ball, and I think we can definitely start winning some games. Uh, Joe Gonzalez does lose the quality start with the earned run that uh, Sergio Romo gave up on the bunt that probably should have gone to foul. You know, it's still entirely possible that that guy scores anyway, but, um, you know, maybe some bad managing on my part. Gonzalez probably should have came out in the 6th or 7th. But, overall, uh, I am <laughs> as happy with the loss as we can be. That I, I kind of like how we played, but, you know, I don't know. We just need to get, you know, we need to get more, more, um, we, we, we're stranding too many runners is my thing, and we need... Trout Cruz and you know Rendon to produce a bit more so that's my kind of thought I just wanted like a freaking post game interview there the way I was talking but yeah guys if you enjoyed the video leave a like and uh, definitely gonna do my best to keep getting these up um, and uh, yeah it's been tracky guys I will see you guys tomorrow and uh, yeah peace <laughs>